Grade 7 Math, number 8.4a, Congruent Angles and Angle Pairs. Let's do a real quick review. The very corner of an angle is called its vertex. And if you see a line that has an arrow point on each side, then it's a line. And if it's got dots, it's a line segment. The line segment has a start and a finish to it, and it's a certain length. The line that has the arrows can go on for infinity in each side. The inside of the angle is where you measure the angle in degrees. An angle that is not a right angle, it's smaller than 90 degrees, is an acute angle. And if it's larger than 90 degrees, it's an obtuse angle. See? All right. So now let's talk about some angle pairs and how they're congruent. These two angles have the same measure, and they're congruent. They're both 50 degrees. This is angle A, and that's angle B. When you see this little sign, that means angle. When you see this symbol, it means congruent or equal. It's an equal sign with like a little curve on top. If you see an M and then the angle sign, it means the measure of angle. So with these symbols, we can say angle A is congruent to angle B because they're both 50 degrees. See? We could say the measure of angle A equals 50 degrees. So this is a shorthand way of writing this information so we don't have to write it out real long like the measure of an angle. We just put an M and then that little angle shape. See? Saves us time. Intersecting lines can make congruent angles. Vertical angles are angles opposite each other, like A and C or D and B. When two lines intersect, they have the same measure. So it's like two streets intersecting, right? Like Main Street and First Avenue or something like that. Because A and C are across from each other, opposite each other, they're vertical angles, and they have the same measure. And because D and B are across from each other and opposite each other, they have the same measure. So angles D and B are vertical angles, and they're congruent because they're vertical angles. And angles A and C are vertical angles, and they are congruent to each other because they're vertical angles. See? Adjacent angles are pairs of angles that share a vertex. Remember the vertex is the very, very sharp corner inside of the angle. And they share this vertex and one side. So A and B are sharing this vertex and they share this side right here, this green line in between them. And they don't overlap and they're next to each other. So these are adjacent angles, see? And then B and C are adjacent angles and share this line, and C and D are adjacent angles and share this line, and D and A are adjacent angles and share that line, see? We could go around like a box with the adjacent angles, see? Complementary angles are two angles that total 90 degrees. When you see this little box, it means it's a right angle like the corner of, of a box, right? Corner of a square. And if we know that this angle is 65 degrees, all we have to do is subtract it from 90 to find out that that's 25 degrees or vice versa. If we know that's 25 degrees, we could subtract the 25 from 90 and we'll know that that's 65 degrees, see? It's got the little box here. So this angle and this angle together, total 90 degrees, they're complementary angles, see? Supplementary angles are two angles that total 180 degrees, and they form a straight angle. A straight angle is actually a line going straight across, like this green line here, and the vertex is actually this point right here. And it doesn't look like an angle, it looks like a straight line, but if you were to measure this entire arc here, it would be 180 degrees. So if you know that angle A is 102 degrees, you could subtract it from the 180 to find out that B is 78. See? And if this is 78, all you have to do is subtract the 78 from the 180 to know that that's 102. Now because these are vertical angles, A and C, that means C is 102. 
And because B and D are vertical angles, that means D is 78. So if you just have one angle, you'll be able to tell what all the other three angles are. It's kind of neat, isn't it? All you have to do is figure out what the measures are. And if we added all four angles together, we'd have 360 degrees. If we added the 102 and 78 and 102 and 78 from these, it would create a little circle and it would be 360 degrees. Like a circle is 360 degrees. See? So that's congruent angles and angle pairs. And in our next video, 8.4a, we're going to talk about one-step equations using this information. Okay? If this video is helpful, hit the like button so I know it's useful to you. Okay? See you next video. Bye.